Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Warzone 2 is here. I've been playing it my fair share over the past couple of days, putting in a lot of hours grinding out weapons, trying to figure things out in terms of, you know, any gameplay details you guys might need to know. And throughout that time, I feel like I've, you know, experienced most of what the game has to offer. And today I wanted to break down what things about the updates for Warzone 2 that I enjoy and what I don't enjoy, because I do feel like this game feels somewhat unfinished unpolished which is curious to me considering that this and mw2 were like said to be the most polished and refined games that we've seen really ever since mw 2019 and warzone 1 so what do i enjoy about warzone 2 so far because honestly while the game needs a lot of work and i i want to stress that it needs a lot of work to really get to the point where i feel like it should be uh there is things that i really am having a lot of fun with and i do enjoy the core gameplay quite a bit so uh my likes proximity chat first and foremost one of the best updates any call of duty game has ever had it is a blast it's hilarious i've had so many people basically just tell on themselves uh you know alerting us of their position because their whole squad is in proximity chat and i guess they don't realize it like they got the terrible two million decibel playstation 5 mics and i can tell exactly which building they're hiding in because it's the only building left in zone right so like proximity chat hilarious sure it can be annoying in certain cases when someone's got that terrible mic that you can't instantly mute or uh, you know it's people saying things that they shouldn't be saying but for the most part proximity chat hilarious update and i am really enjoying that the map i also think is a huge w the all mods replace space is nice and diverse i like the building design a lot of them have multiple entries multiple exits so you can play the campers well you can navigate them well the geo of the world itself i haven't been uh, in situations where i can't climb up rocks and it costs me a life like i really do enjoy the map i think it was very well thought out it's a little big for the player count but i think that's more of a player count issue rather than a map issue like i think the map is really well designed and i do enjoy all mazra quite a bit i also really like the gunplay guns this year you guys have heard me say it before in some loadout videos they actually have personality they don't all just have no recoil you're not going to laser beam every single player you see at 150 meters with a rifle that can also outgun things at 15 meters you have to build out your guns in a smarter way this year which i really enjoy and there's diversity in different engagements it's not one gun rules all there's good guns for close range good guns for medium range very few good guns for long range because of how the recoil and everything works this year i love the gunplay there's an actual skill gap involved with that I also think uh, things like the stim pistol are really cool upgrades. A nice little change to gameplay here and a nice little QOL update. Well, one of the few QOL updates, I should say. I also think the parachute and the swimming mechanics work really well this year. Uh, the water mechanics in general, it's cool to have that sort of uh, engagement play in, uh, you know, in play, I guess that's the way to put it. Um, it's just cool. It's nice and different. Something we never got to experience in the previous iteration of Warzone. And I honestly like the vehicle mechanics too, with the ability to lean out of the windows to get onto the roof. The driving I'm still getting used to because it's a bit different and a bit more realistic, but I like that as well. The damage values and having to refuel is cool. So like, there are quite a few things I enjoy about Warzone 2 gameplay. However, my list of things that I don't like or list of things that concern me and I think need to be updated is much, much longer. So, you know, get a snack if you need. Maybe grab a G Fuel. Use Code Immortal for that nice 20% off discount. Uh, also, as we get into the dislikes here and what I think needs to be improved upon, just want to remind you guys, around 57% of viewers watching are not already subscribed to the channel. And every day, I got you covered with all the new updates, all the new uh, news that drops for MW2, Warzone 2, and DMZ, so you guys can always guarantee you're up to date. I also got you covered with class setups, loadouts, tips to help you improve. So, everything that has to do with these games you'll find it here on the channel feel free to subscribe and join us on the road to 900,000 subs also if you guys enjoyed this video or if you want to share it around in hopes of getting some of these things changed or updated or addressed leaving a like on the video itself is the best way to do that lets the developers know that what i'm talking about here you guys agree with and it helps share the video around as mentioned let's try and aim for 3500 likes on this one but Getting into some things that I think need updated. Uh, first and foremost, the ping system this year is all sorts of weird. I, I've had times where the loadouts come in mid game and I go to ping the loadout and I can see it on my mini map, it's to my right. And the ping is like 400 meters to the left under the earth. And I can't actually exactly tell where the loadout is, which is very obnoxious. Uh, there's pings that just you can't see when you're playing with a squad the white ping hud which i know you can change in like your uh settings is still not super convenient to see i've had things where i like i, I say hey you know squad boys you see these guys over here i've pinged it and they're like yeah i don't see any pings 
the ping system needs a lot of upgrades it just doesn't seem like it's working right right now and it's not visible enough uh in game the time to kill for a battle royale is wildly fast it says that we have 250 health but we also had 250 health back in Warzone, and that TTK felt like it was a little bit longer than this. This one is fast. You, in certain gunfights, just have no time to react whatsoever. So I feel like we need that TTK to be slowed down a little bit, maybe added another 50 health or something, but it is very fast right now. Uh, the loadout system, I think, could be improved upon a bit. I honestly feel like I am getting my custom guns relatively frequently. I do wish there were more strongholds available on the map at the start to get your full loadout. I also wish that it was easier to find money. This is sort of a, you know, two for one dislike that I have. I wish it was easier to find money to, you know, get your whole squad geared up with your custom guns from the buy station if you're not going to the free loadout drop, which takes forever to come in or go into a stronghold early game. Buying your weapons out of a buy station is great if it's just one person, but when you gotta, you know, go for four people there, it can get kind of pricey just to have everyone have one of their own custom guns. So between not having enough cash and the prices being kind of steep, I'd like to see some updates and uh, and some changes there to make loadouts a little bit more accessible. Uh, the Gulag, by far, one of my least favorite things. I do not like the 2v2 Gulag. I don't like having to rely on a random to potentially, uh, you know, shoot at enemies or save my game if I get two on one like double teamed, you know, and they both take me out and then I, it's up to the random to then take both of them out. I'm not a fan of that. I want my ability to return to gameplay to be left up to me and nothing else. I'm not a fan of the 2v2 Gulag at all. It's just, it does not work for me. Uh, the loot bags, also probably my second least favorite thing. They're hard to navigate and it's hard to try and pick up things off the ground that you want to pick up when all the loot is next to one another. Again, sort of a two for one dislike and thing here that I think needs to be updated. The loot bag navigation between figuring out what's where, I think is just a time thing. We'll get used to it more and more as we continue to do it. But navigating the loot when it's on the ground, on the body bags, and when there's a lot of death in one specific place on the map is very obnoxious. I've had so many times where I come back from the gulag and I'm trying to pick up my weapon and it's next to a pile of ammo and a body bag and a satchel or a three plate, whatever you want to call it, the three play armor carrier and I already have one of those and it won't let me pick that up but it won't give me the prompt to pick up my gun and it's just it's a mess um so the loot it really needs to be streamlined more with the body bag system and just being able to pick things up off of the ground there needs to be like a proximity loot menu or something like that if you will that's also like the body bag system where you can just easily pick things up out of there or something I don't know that is a huge huge nuisance uh to my gameplay so far uh the lack of a combat record or a real combat record with uh you know wins tracking and showing your kd and stuff obviously available in multiplayer after the season one update not at launch even though it's a pretty basic feature also not really readily available here in warzone 2 either so i feel like that is kind of whack i mean it's it's 2022 stats shouldn't be a uh, thing that come six months after launch or anything crazy like that uh the lack of quality of life updates that we saw in warzone 1. We had so many great QOL updates happen in Warzone 1 throughout that, you know, two and three quarter year period. And then we just reset most of them going into Warzone 2, and I'm not sure why. They ran so many community tests trying to figure out what the community liked in Warzone 1 with quality of life changes, and then they just didn't bring them over. So that to me is kind of a disappointment. Not kind of, it is a disappointment. Another thing that I find to be very weird, you can't make your own perk packages. Now, for what it's worth, I think if you could make your own perk packages, there are gonna be some combinations that are way too overpowered because Overkill is a perk one perk and Ghost is a perk three perk. You could get Ghost and Overkill right away on one loadout or one class setup and have that for the entire game. I don't think the way that perks are balanced in their categories between tier one, tier two, tier three, would work for perk packages. So maybe that's why we have all these preset ones, but then these preset ones kind of suck. Like the only overkill option has terrible perks for perk two and perk three that I don't want to use. So I can't use overkill. Uh, the other combinations don't really fit a necessary play style for a lot of people. So I just don't like having to pick and choose things and like having to compromise for no real reason. Like just, I feel like we should be able to make our own perk packages. Uh, another thing that I found is kind of tedious in game. You're not able to plate up while running. If you want to put on plates, you basically have to walk at a snail's pace. You can't bust through doors or through windows. It's gotten me killed several times. It really slows down gameplay. I'm not sure why that was a needed change. Being able to plate and run at the same time makes for much more fun engagements in my opinion. 
I feel like that's something that absolutely needs to be changed. Then the last thing here that I think needs addressed, and this is a very important one, is the general stability of the game. Whether it be lobbies not filling or lobbies starting with 40 players less than what the max player count is. The servers lagging for the first five minutes of gameplay where everyone's on 140 ping and it's like you're playing on a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation instead of a 2022 video game. Uh, it, the, the stability, the server connection is not great so far. I'm hoping that's something that can be addressed here uh, very, very quickly because it's pretty integral when it comes to having a decent gameplay experience, right? So yes, there are some very fun things about Warzone 2, but as is a common theme with Call of Duty, the positives are oftentimes overshadowed and outweighed by the negatives of the game. And with Warzone 2, it just doesn't seem like it had enough time. There's certain things that this game launched without that I just feel like shouldn't be things that games launch without when they have the development time that we've supposedly had for Warzone 2. It seems very bare bones and that's disappointing to say the least, right? So hopefully we see some big changes and some big upgrades to Warzone 2 gameplay here in the future. As I mentioned earlier, as we see any new updates, any news that drops for potential updates, I'll have you guys covered with all of that alongside things to help you guys improve in game with tips, with class setups, loadouts, all sorts of stuff like that. So if you want to stay up to date with all that, feel free to hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. And if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys agree that you want to see some of these things changed, be sure to drop a like on your way out as well. Once again, though, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.